a year and a half after the COVID-19 pandemic began, and the world already has a number of vaccines to prevent the disease. In fact, there are precisely 17. That's the number of vaccines approved for use in at least one country somewhere in the world, according to McGill University's COVID-19 vaccine tracker. The decision to approve a medicine for emergency use is based on one thing. Do the benefits outweigh the risks? But there are no countries that have authorized all of those 17 vaccines, which tells us one thing. Approval standards vary. So what does it take to get a vaccine authorized? To keep things short, we'll look at the process in three organizations the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the European Medicines Agency, and the World Health Organization. Then we'll look at Taiwan. First up is the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. The vaccines they've currently authorized for emergency use are Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. The FDA's guidelines are fairly explicit. They want to see some results from a Phase 3 trial. That can be interim analysis from midway through Phase 3, at least two months after participants have been fully vaccinated. How about the European Medicines Agency? Well, they've authorized the same vaccines as the US FDA, plus AstraZeneca. And they're a little less explicit about trial phases, but the results are pretty much the same. The agency says it wants results on efficacy, and at the moment, the only widely accepted way of doing that is through phase three trials. And the agency wants those trials to have at least 30,000 participants. That brings us to the World Health Organization, or WHO. Technically, the organization doesn't grant EUAs, but instead EULs, emergency use listings. Get one of those, and the WHO might distribute your vaccine as part of vaccine initiative COVAX. The WHO actually says phase 2b trials can be enough, but it does want data on efficacy. That said, the WHO does leave the door open for other ways of showing efficacy in the future, not just phase 3 trials. And that's using this thing, an immune correlate of protection. Which brings us nicely onto Taiwan. Taiwan's FDA says vaccines should prove they are as good or better than the AstraZeneca vaccine through a process called immunobridging. And what does that mean? Well, the idea is this. When you get vaccinated, your body reacts and produces antibodies. In theory, at least, the more antibodies you make, the more you're protected against the disease. So Taiwan is going to compare antibody levels in people who took the local vaccine, made by Medigen, and the AstraZeneca vaccine. Then, they'll use that to try and figure out how effective the Taiwanese vaccine will be. Now, the reason they're doing that is because running phase three trials is becoming more and more difficult as the world gets more vaccines. Part of the reason is because a lot of people would rather get an authorized vaccine than take part in a trial for one with unknown efficacy. That's why researchers around the world have been working on finding ways like this to get vaccines approved without slow and expensive phase three trials. So does the amount of antibodies correlate to protection from the virus? Well, at least one scientific paper suggests for COVID it does, but the WHO has not yet drawn a conclusion. They say the data isn't clear enough yet. So as for Medigen's vaccine, it remains to be seen whether Taiwanese authorities are ahead of the curve or jumping the gun.